Podcast. This one, in fact, is coming from the state of Karnataka, an important state for the BJP. However, there is where there has been an unending civic apathy. This visual is from Bengaluru, the IT city, the IT hub of the country, uh, where a road you can see has caved in. Remember, all this is happening just two days after the killer metro pillar collapsed, killing a mother and her little child. And all of this is not giving or not painting a very good picture for Bengaluru as there is no end to civic apathy in the IT capital of the country. We constantly, you know, bringing uh, our viewers up to speed of what is the infrastructural situation in Bengaluru. Uh, this visual, as you can see, this road has caved in almost uh, uh, almost five feet deep. That's how deep the road has caved in. It can lead to a disaster because uh, this seems like a major junction, major road uh, where there, of course, traffic. Uh, we'll try and get a sense of what exactly is this area that we are looking at once we have our reporters on ground connect with us. However, we just told you about uh, how a metro pillar had collapsed not uh, just a few days ago. That, in fact, led to the dying of a mother and her child who were traveling on the road beneath that metro pillar. That metro pillar, remember, there were uh, obviously caution given how that metro pillar was precariously dangling. However, nothing was done about it. This led to the death of uh, a lady and her child, unfortunately. And despite that situation, have uh, uh, been you know told to uh, all of our viewers there is another case of civic apathy that we see in bengaluru taking this across to my colleague ritu now joins us from this exact location where these visuals are coming from ritu where is this uh, happened Well, exactly. You see, we are right now coming live from Mahalakshmi layout where okay. this whole uh, incident had occurred, where you saw in the visuals almost a uh, uh, tempo, in fact, got uh, stuck in this big sinkhole that you can see in the visuals right now. BWSSB workers are here. So because of that tempo, which got stuck, the pipe, in fact, uh, got broke there. So they are doing their uh, part of job. But yes, so far at this spot, even after CNN News 18 broke it first to bring you this incident and the visuals as well with the CCTV footage of a way vehicle getting stuck at this uh, very uh, spot. You see, there's not even a single official has yet reached the spot. Uh, so, but yes, BWSSB workers are in fact doing their job because the wire in fact uh, had broke down, but this is the sink that has, uh, uh, the, the sinkhole has appeared. Now, this is the stretch that has in fact been asphalted just two days back and within two days, this is the incident that has come to the light from IT city, Bengaluru. But another point that what we have to really note is also that this stretch from where we are coming live to you is mm. actually a little lily's education society that you can see the board here happens to be a school uh, you know society in fact here there are schools that are located at this spot so where usually these kind of heavy vehicles are not supposed to in fact you know uh, move at this stretch as well that in fact leads to this incident because on the other hand the civic body should really uh, ensure that there is enough or safe uh, uh, safety precautionary measures that are also being taken after it is asphalted it has to be dried well as well but after leading this kind of heavy vehicles at the spot would also lead to such incidents therein but yes another substandard work has come to light from it city bengaluru over to you absolutely ritu but uh, you know heavy vehicles cannot be call called a problem here the road construction is the major problem and like you rightly mentioned uh, it is very close to a kindergarten school where children of course are daily commuting to reach their uh, uh, you know school venue and this is uh, an incident. This looks like a major crossing, Ritu. This, of course, makes it very, very dangerous. We have already shown our viewers how there have been numerous pothole deaths in Bengaluru. There has been a metro pillar that collapsed that led to the death of a mother and her child. And now we see a sinkhole as big as this. Well, see, there are two points here as we talk about the heavy vehicles, in fact, moving at this stretch as this being a school zone, in fact, the kindergarten zone mm. that we're talking about. Mm. So because this is a big main road that you can see in the visuals where I'll try my uh, request my uh, video journalist to show you this visual. See, this is a main uh, uh, you know, road where there are uh, heavy vehicle movements as well that you can see. So there has to be a nearby police, uh, traffic police as well, who should in fact be stopping this kind of heavy uh, vehicle movements because this is after all about the safety Absolutely. of the uh, students 
residents who are actually taking this stretch as well point number one and point number two you see this road was just been asphalted two days back where this PWSSB had undertaken uh, the uh, you know the underground pipeline work and just in two days of it was asphalted this incident comes to the light you can see uh, which you know the asphalted uh, in fact how fresh it also looks like the remains of it as well there in but yes so far no not even a single uh, of civic body official has reached this spot so again you see there again the BBMP is again at fix and BWSSB as well because now at the main reason that we really have to try and show you is also that when see this kind of a stretcher actually been tried to fill uh, and uh, uh, after the pipeline work it has to be filled completely and not altogether must be asphalted so here again we can try and understand that the BBMP is at fault because without filling this hole uh, of a pi after the pipeline work was been done they have asphalted it freshly all suddenly at one go without filling that it uh, uh, the hole with some sort of a concrete or for that matter with the cement as well or for that matter with the mud as well suddenly asphalting it would of course lead to such kind uh, such kind of an incident there in but as you again mentioned earlier mm -hmm. as well we have seen how many uh, lives have been claimed because of the potholes but yes the civic body uh, BBMP especially has never taken an, uh, a responsibility of it we have always seen them turning up uh, at the spot very late or either coming out with the blame game saying that the BWSSB is at fault or for that matter uh, about the BESCOM as well but yes here again the accountability who exactly will take the accountability is also a question now because uh, the, uh, you know, the Karnataka High Court is also sick of pulling the BBMP over the potholes they have gone on to miss out ample numbers of the deadlines therein again but here this hmm. incident coming to the light has in fact shook the IT city of uh, Bengaluru right now because the taxpayers are in fact paying their amount on time then why is that this kind of an incident taking place why the poor quality work are mm. actually coming up across the city is also a big question that has been raised now there's no proper uh, and safety measures that are also taken so there again all innocent people also losing their lives so this is all that has shook the people here right now absolutely and those are the important questions that we continue to ask as these cases of civic apathy have been brought to fore time and again and the authorities are really not doing anything about it remember just a few hours ago we had had also told you about how a lamppost was precariously tilted. Uh, there is a ground report that my colleague Akshara has filed from over there. Let's take a look at that. After CNN News 18's report on this dangerously leaning street light on the Kotnur main road here in Bengaluru, the BBMP has finally sent its workers in order to get this uh, dangerously leaning street light removed. Remember, the locals here had said that from the past 7-8 months, the street light was unattended, which was dangerously leaning towards this particular road, heading towards airport. And right after the reports of CNN News 18 earlier this morning, the BBMP workers have finally arrived at the spot and are getting this dangerously leaning street light removed from the spot. This is CNN News 18 Impact reporting from Bengaluru, Akshara DM with camera person Sudhakar.